Hi everybody, welcome to Simple Art at Home with me, Laura Houston. And today we have a student request. And we had Andrew from Orange Grove, he's a third grader, request that I do some sort of baseball art. So our show today will be just that. Thanks for requesting, Andrew. And um, to let you know, throughout the summer series, I will be, <laughs> technical issue, I will be um, taking um, requests. <laughs> Sorry, we use my phone as a camera and it's ringing right now, but that's okay. Okay, so um, in just a moment, we're gonna look at um, student art and um, then I will meet you at the table for the baseball themed art. So let's take a look at that student art. Nice work, Gavin. This was the 2020 census related art and Leilani as well, the census art. Everyone is so creative. Trisha, very nice. And Sophia, also census related art. And Ilana. She was very creative. And then we had a trash art, census themed art from Eliana. Eliana. Thank you everyone for sending in your work. I love to see uh, student artwork. Um, keep taking pictures and, and send, me, send me your work. The trash art contest is still going until January 15th. I'm sorry, June 15th, not January, June 15th. And um, you, all you have to do is take a picture of your work and send it to trashartatmuseo.org and just send your uh, first name and the school that you go to. Okay, so we are going to start with a uh, circle. So you're going, you're going to need something to draw a circle. We're going to draw a baseball. And I want to find the center of my paper. So if this is the center. I want to kind of move like over and up. So it's so it's not quite in the center but off center and I'm going to draw a circle. Okay, let me just stack my paper. And on the baseball, we usually have um, two uh, like lines that go across with the little red marks. So I'm going to just roughly identify the center. I don't know if you can see that. And I think I will make, let's see, I'll make a line about here. And another one maybe about over here. And you know, you don't have to use uh, a round object if you just want to sketch. This is your art. You do whatever you want. And then we are going to make the little red stitches that go along. So, you know, this is, we're just going to do something like this. We're simplifying what you would see on a baseball. Just keeping it somewhat simple. Oops, I'm making these kind of small. There we go. I, I want them to be all roughly the same size. Make one come off the edge right there. Keep taking these around, something like this. And I'm not measuring, I'm just kind of eyeballing. We're going to color these in later. Something like this. Okay, there we go. And then so we have our ball. We are going to draw a bat. And I don't want the ball to be centered right in the center of the bat. I want it to be off center. So I want the ball to look like it's in front of the bat. So I'm going to draw a line that's something like this. Let's see, maybe going from up here and then carrying it through over here. And then on this side, I'll have more of the bat. And you know, bats do taper, but this is a more of a close up, so I'm not going to worry too much about that right now. 
we're just going to use our ruler and make it make parallel lines. Something like this. Okay. And then um, we will be rounding off this top part here. So I'll just draw a rough idea. Let's see, maybe I'll draw a line, but I'm going to round it off. And we can always erase those other lines later. But it's going to be something like this. It's going to come across here and come around. So that we have our basic outline. And then I'm just going to use my eraser and get rid of that. And you know, when you're drawing this, you might want to make a, a rough sketch first. You know, maybe you'll, you'll create this a couple of times. There we go. Okay. So next, uh, we are going to draw what's called a burst. And the burst, you know, you've probably seen it in comic books. It's something that shows, like, uh, it conveys an explosion or energy. So uh, in order to draw the burst, we want to not have it touch the ball. It's going to come off about right here, something like this. And we'll do some lines that are just showing that that ball is being hit by the bat. And we're gonna go all the way around over here, we're gonna keep going. Some are going to be big and some will be small. We want some to extend past the bat. And we have some over here as well. Again, not touching the ball. Something like this. Okay, so it's going to be this big smack. And eventually, you know, we'll erase some of these lines, but I'll show you once we get going here. And then um, on the bat, we are going to want uh, to draw, um, well, well, actually I'll save the, the wood grain for when we use color. Why don't we put a sun up in the corner since this is a uh, beautiful day at the baseball park, at the baseball stadium. I'm wondering if Andrew requested baseball since baseball's on his mind. Baseball season has been delayed, sadly. It should have started. Let's draw some wavy sun rays here. We can do some small, some bigger. And if these aren't showing up, I'm gonna go over them with a black Sharpie. I know I'm drawing kind of lightly right now. Okay. And then maybe down here, we'll draw, we'll imagine that this is inside the baseball stadium. And you know, when out on the field, there's a fence way at the back. I'm just going to kind of curve this a little bit. There's a fence at the back. And when the ball goes over that fence, you know it's a home run. Okay, let me do this so that you can see. I'll use the, the black pen. So there's a fence back here, and usually there's a number on that fence that shows how many feet. Let's just put, I'm going to write 380 feet, and if the ball goes over, the, you know that it's the ball's gone 380 feet. So I'm going to start outlining. Let's start with the round circle part of the ball. Remember, you can turn the paper however you want if you're trying to trace over your lines. Sometimes it's easier. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to assume that 
this ball, the person that hit this um, created a home run. So now I'm going to outline all of these little stitches. These will be red. And we'll just connect that line. I'm going to point out something about uh, depth in just a moment in space. And I don't mean outer space, I mean uh, space in the composition of an artwork. Okay, so the ball is in front of the bat, but we want this burst to be in between the ball and the bat. So very carefully, I'm going to draw the burst next. I need to make sure that it's in front here. And I'm going to be erasing other lines to make it look more realistic. There we go. So we have a few layers here. And the bat is in front of this fence, that home run fence. See how the burst extends beyond the bat? You should do that in some places to make it look more like there's more like, um, space. This is more, as I said, comic book style. And again, I don't want the burst to touch the ball. So I'm gonna make sure my lines don't touch. There's a little space there. There we go. And I'm going to draw the bat very carefully because I'm going to make sure that the bat doesn't cross on top of these bursts. There we go. Something like this. And once we add color, it'll look even better. There. Okay, put this one here, okay, maybe once I erase a little bit, it will look better. So for example, we want to erase the lines that are inside these little triangles, such as these, because we want that look of, of depth going through here. And then on the sun, sun will be here, and we can kind of do some, we want some wavy rays coming off the sun, something like this. Looks like fire. Looks like a beautiful warm day at the ballpark. Okay, so why don't we start by shading in the bat, okay? And we need to remember that the sun is the light source. So the bat will be darker over here and lighter over here. We're going to do the same thing with the ball as if it's a sphere. But first, let's draw some um, wood grain on, on our bat. So with the wood grain, we're going to start with, I'm going to turn my paper, I'm going to start with kind of like an organic shape like this. It's kind of going um, parallel and then I'm going to have some other lines that kind of go like this. And I want them all to be the same distance. like this to just show the idea that there's wood go through here too. and once we color it in it'll look a little bit better okay we'll put some more up here
All right, I think they get the idea that that's a bat. So I'm gonna start by shading and some of these, some of the wood grain will get covered up. And if you remember back, if you saw the very first live stream, I think I titled it 001 and also the pair that we did together, 002, I showed you how to shade and add value. That's basically what we're doing right here. And you might want to go back and watch those if you missed those first two episodes. Now I'm going to switch, I'm going to lighten this up a little lighter. See how I'm going from dark to light? And then I'm going to add a different color. Maybe I'll add this color here. I still want it to be the color of a bat. Color in here, there we go. Color up here, and I'm coloring the same direction. There we go, and I might even add some black. Add a little more brown. There we go, it's starting to look like a bat. And then we'll add some black down here, because this is the side that is uh, away from the sun. This really, like as I call it, adds some drama here. Gives it the, the illusion of depth. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Let's add a little bit more up here. I'll color this in a little more solid. But you can still see the hint of those, uh, the wood grain that we put in there. Okay. Blend this a little bit more. All right. And then now for the ball, we're going to use gray and gray and black. And the ball, obviously, a baseball is white. And since the sun is coming from this direction, this part will be the lightest. So I'm just going to kind of shade in a, a crescent, uh, I'm not gonna, on a crescent shape, like a crescent moon. I'm not gonna shade too much of it. This will be darker over here, because it is white, but we're just adding the hint of color. And then we can add you know, maybe some black here, too. Okay. Not too much, but just a little bit. And I might even just smudge that a little bit to soften that black. There we go. Okay, let's add the red. So these are the red stitches. They're on a baseball. And then for the first, we will use yellow. And the burst really you know, if you go back and, or if you look up, you know, comic books, I don't know if you read them, but maybe pay attention to how bursts are drawn. They're pretty fun. But we really want to get the idea of space here. About, and space meaning um, how the objects are uh, related. To one another. Really, if I want to fix this, this first should come here. And there. Okay. So we have the baseball in front of the burst. So the burst is in between the ball and the bat. And then let's color this fence back here. And it's, they're usually green. Usually these letters, I mean these numbers, are white, white or yellow, but. And you might want to do that. I'm just, I left it black. So I'm going to fill this in. I 
There we go. There's that fence. In the back of the ballpark, the baseball stadium. And as far as the sun goes, we will we will start with the lightest yellow on the edges here. And then I'm going to move to a bolder yellowy orange, just to show a little interest in transition. And then we can fill in the sun uh, with some orange. Get my papers. I'll just turn my paper sideways here to color in the sun. And I think we should add a little blue sky as well. And you know, you can you can modify uh, this composition any way that you want because this is your art. I'm actually really curious to see how you might uh, come out with an with your baseball themed art, but I hope this is at least an idea for you. And when I draw the blue sky, I think I'm going to do it darker at the top and then a little bit lighter as it gets down here towards the fence. But so I'm going to draw it a little more bold up here. I'm using oil pastels. Sometimes I work with crayon. Um, you can work with anything that you that you prefer. Colored pencils are great. You might even want to paint a baseball themed uh, piece of art. Oh, I gotta get all this blue in between the burst here. Some of you may miss going to baseball games. You know, we're in Anaheim with the Angels. I I grew up in, in Los Angeles County um, going to Dodger games with my family, but I do like the Angels too. But you can still draw some art about baseball. If you miss it, you can still perhaps play in the yard, play baseball. We used to have uh, like plastic bats when I was a kid. Wiffle I think they were called wiffle balls. We would hit in the yard so we wouldn't break any windows. Okay, so let's look at uh, what we've done here. We started with the ball and it shows what we've done is the ball is in front of the burst and the burst is in between the ball and the bat. So it's showing that that moment of impact, that, that, uh, that explosion or that energy. And the bat is in front of this um, home run fence at the back of the stadium. We have a beautiful blue sky and our sun in the background. So Andrew, um, thank you for requesting. I'm going to meet you back up at the easel. Okay. It's not working. Okay, that's okay. I will just wait up here, or I can come back to the table. Shall I stay at the table? Yeah, it's not working. Okay, so um, this was our baseball themed art. Thank you very much, Andrew, for requesting this. I hope you enjoyed this project. And you know, you can modify this any way that you would like. And I will see you actually at, are we able to show student artwork? Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna look at some student artwork. Don't forget to try the Anaheim Museo trash art. It's due June 15th, so I will see you next Thursday. I hope you enjoyed this baseball-themed art. Let's look at some fabulous kid art. Thank you.